the way a resection works is essentially using geometry to calculate an unknown point based on known information. If we look at a simple example of the, of the, the resection, we are taking a known point, another known point, and then calculating the angles and distances to determine our third unknown point. The nice thing about surface E is that they allow you to do more than uh, a two-point resection. You can do multiple points in the resection. So the more points you add, the higher level of precision you add into your resected point. I'm going to do a three-point resection to calculate a point uh, where I'm set up. So in this example, I'm set up somewhere over here to the side. And based on that, we're going to shoot these other three points to come up with our current location. So we would set our instrument up on the unknown point. We would go to the survey menu and say resection. The very first thing I want to do is shoot point number one. I would plug in my instrument height and my target height and tell it to read. Now the very first thing it's going to ask me do, to do is to zero the instrument on the first point. It's not a bad idea to do this since you're not doing another back sight. Uh, go ahead and zero on that first point. Okay, so it's taken the very first reading. Now we're ready to move on to point number two. So we key in point number two. Our target height is the same. Yeah. Now we're on our third point. If we were only doing two points, we could tell it to calculate now. But because I'm going to go ahead and do the three points, I'll tell it that my next point is point number three. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and take a reading to point. Now we're asked for a fourth point. I don't have a fourth point here, so I'm ready to go ahead and calculate my resection. So it shows me point ID number one. Point number one is on and being used inside of this resection, the horizontal angle, the slope distance, and then the distance residual. So basically what I'm looking at in the residuals is the difference between what was calculated uh, or what was measured with the instrument and what's there in the, in the coordinate values. So if these numbers were high, uh, for example, angular residual here, I've got 14 seconds. Uh, 14 seconds uh, and two hundredths on the uh, distance residual. So I, I may want to go back and uh, possibly uh, take that point and turn it off, telling it not to use that point because maybe I'm uncomfortable with that 14 seconds being out there. I'm going to go ahead and use all three of those points. I'll tell it OK. And I'm going to create point number 100. This is my reset point. Now if I go to the map screen, there is my resected point based on the three points shown in the file. 